For centuries, cattle farming has been domesticated. It was about 10,000 years ago when its domestication began. However, modern breeds come to the surface from the aurochs. They are well known for being cousins of wild oxes of European bison that have heavy fur on their front look. In 4000 BC, longhorn cattle were used for various religious sacrificials. Around 2000 BC, from Africa via Spain, longhorn cattle were brought for beef production. Shortened horn cattle were used for agricultural purposes. In the beginning, they were used for three basic needs, drafting, meat, and milk production, and they were sufficient for three of them. Nowadays, it is said that you can get more butter from the milk of a longhorn animal than any other breed. However, they are now used only for the beef purpose. Well, we still consider longhorn cattle to be the species of Texas. Though it is wrong, why won't we consider it right this way? The right answer to this question is that it has been there for many centuries. On the contrary, these American cattle had a great history and were brought by the Spanish conquerors from the Iberian Peninsula when Christopher Columbus almost began his second time journey in 1512. In the Texas city, the Longhorn cattle are a significant breed famous for their peculiar, striking, and eye-chasing longhorns and appear as particular from other cattle breeds. Now they have become a symbol of Texas and its livestock farming heritage. But before starting the ranching into longhorn cattle farming, hit the subscribe button and leave a comment for us. Longhorn cattle farming can be a more luxurious and profitable business if taken good care of and managed in the proper way that it requires. According to people who have ventured into this business, they are used for both beef and horn characteristics. Moreover, their meat tastes like the meat of deer or elk. It is low in fat and cholesterol and is more beneficial to diabetic and cardiac patients. But the plus point of this business is that they are easy to raise, and a little attention can be a big cheese to your trading. And by the way, they're considered a bit more intelligent of their breeds than others. So what is their growth ratio? Well, by the end of their first year of birth, the horns grow 30 inches from tip to tip. Normally, bull calves have tiny crux appear on their head in a few days after they are born. At the early stage, the size of horns increases by one to three inches. Until they reach a mature age, the size of their horns can be long to 95 inches. OMG, like seriously, horns get this much longer. I am sure with this length of horns, those cattle must look scary to people. Talking about people, it is mandatory to keep in mind you shouldn't get close enough that they can hurt you easily. If you have them as an owner, they will be friends with you. But to strangers, they seem distant and feel not comfortable. So if they don't like one, they're going to hit you with their horns. Ouch, it sounds crouchy. It is like they are taught by nature don't get anything from a stranger. We being humans would learn it or not, they have learnt and practiced. Well, longhorn cattle are modified to graze on hard, fibrous plants. In this way, their food must contain hay, grass, and other related vegetation. Also, they are famous for their capacity to thrive on a diet of grasses, forbs, and weeds. They are way easy on food. Whatever you give them, they will enjoy it. However, you must consider that the food must cover the whole minerals that their body requires. Make sure that they get enough proteins, vitamins, and all required minerals 
to keep in good and healthy shape. Oh, you're going crazy to have these longhorn cattle, don't you? Give the thumbs up to the video for such amazing nutshells. Well, do you know guys, as casual beef is not a cup of tea for everyone, in comparison to them, Longhorn cattle meat got more importance as they are often available in cans and at lower prices. Those who have been in this business for a long period often sell its meat for different types of cooking food. Their meat is available in the markets in different forms. Often resellers offer it as frozen for several cuts as steaks, barbecue, smoked sausages, and other cuts, etc. That sounds strange, but yeah, it's true. Anyhow, it's still not as easy as it sounds here. Still, the profit depends on various other factors, such as the number of cows, the number of labor, labor's consistency in work, acre per cow, nutrition, and grazing availabilities. All these factors finalize your profit ratio. Those who have ventured into it. Describe that with the combination of hard hooves, long legs, long horns, and intelligence, they have become more popular and their demand has also exceeded in a few years. These are the reasons for their survival and prosperity breed. So, didn't you think when we talk about the characteristics of horns, what they could be, or if you think of how they could be beneficial in the business run? Well, let us explain it. I guess you people haven't any idea of how much their beautiful, hard, and long horns can be lucrative for you. Sit tight because your head definitely will spin when you hear the price. Okay, they can bring you a profit of almost $450 to $2,000 when they are sold for decoration purposes. Moreover, it does not take a break here, but their skull and their multicolored hide also add profit to your account as their hide is used in many forms like couches, cushions, chairs, and other furniture. There are some mandatory notches that one should be aware of. It doesn't matter how easy they are to go with, but still, there are some factors that they needed, though they are well suited for living in the open air. However, there should still be a sturdy shelter, whether of a pole barn. Any shelter that can provide them relief from the hot rays of the sun in summer and save them from rain, storms, or cold winds in winter season. It is essential because when you give them a choice, they spend 46% of the time indoors, especially in the summer, but they also love to spend their evenings outdoors, especially their nights and milking time, although they produce milk for their calves. In today's world, they are mostly used for meat purposes, as their milk production is less compared to other breeds. Throughout the video, longhorn cattle look significantly important in our daily lives. After all, we use them for our food and taste. Look at their beautiful, sturdy, and curvy longhorns, and enjoy your enthusiasm for ranching it. Hope you folks enjoy the ride on Longhorn Cattle.